Young Cherokee is the name of the first production that we're doing through the TIE project. We were looking for a children's show to do and we stumbled upon this play and thought not only is it a great play, but it also gives us an opportunity to create something that's socially, culturally relevant. In the fall semester of 2005, collaborations and partnerships were established to launch a new theater and education program, TIE, at Western Carolina University to design the first year's production, programming, and curriculum. Its goal is to present quality theater for young audiences, and then it has a mission to make education as important as the theatrical performance. With the help of several departments and programs at Western, including art, music, education, Cherokee studies, and service learning, Young Cherokee, a play for young audiences, began to come together. The program was designed to give Western students the opportunity and responsibility to connect the classroom to an authentic experience with the campus community and a greater community. Thai productions are completely student-driven. The play's director, actors, designers, and production team are all Western Carolina students. The faculty serves as mentors, teachers, and guides, but the students are front and center. I realized pretty quickly actually that it's not the teachers telling us what to do. We're doing the work, we're doing the research, we're going out and looking at these things. Western Carolina is especially fortunate to have as its neighbors and partners the Eastern Band of the Cherokee. They have played a significant role in the artistic and cultural development of Western North Carolina and continue to do so today. Cherokee elders, artists, and scholars provide wisdom, support and artistic vision for the development of the Thai program and the production of Young Cherokee. It's one thing to read about it in a book in the library, but to get it firsthand from an actual Cherokee, it's really, really fascinating and very great for our process. Cherokee elders gave guided tours of the Okona Lefty Indian Village and the Museum of the Cherokee Indian. They hosted seminars sharing Cherokee history, culture, and legends. Cherokee artist and storyteller Davy Arch became a frequent visitor and contributor to the program. Collaborations with Cherokee artists and scholars have allowed the creative process to stay close to the rich and storied heritage of the Eastern Band of the Cherokee. At the core of the Thai program is community partnerships and educational outreach. Students and teachers from Cherokee Middle School participated in theater and arts workshops throughout the year. And so we've been playing a lot right now. They give us like a phrase and we'll have to go back and do it with a different emotion, each one of us in a circle. A number of the kids that are involved in this are very reserved and very quiet and calm up and down the halls and in the classroom. In this situation, we are see, we're seeing a side of them that we've never seen. And that, of course, is very positive for us. Western students learn by doing, by seeing, by listening, by teaching. The middle school students made connections to the university community and to their own rich Cherokee history. These connections are at the heart of the Thai program and will help change the young people's lives. The Thai company is in the final stages of rehearsal and the sets, costumes, and the actors are stepping up. Young Cherokee is beginning to come together. It is time for the student company and its mentors to present the culmination of a year of research, cultural immersion, and creative exploration. Their hard work and dedication to excellence, education, and service will shine. It's been a long, long, long journey from this concept of, okay, we're doing these workshops with these kids, learning how to tell a story, to getting a script and getting parts and doing every, we did everything for this production. It's just turned into so much more than I thought it was gonna be. I have only had experiences um, like designing under someone else, but with this project, I was the top designer and it was, it just felt really good. The kids pile in, eager to learn and ready to be entertained. The audience is invited to participate during the production and at the end of the presentation. Time is provided to ask questions about the play and the Cherokee culture. Back to front.
this story is actually two myths put together. There are kind of two different versions of the creation of the world based on Cherokee culture, and the, the Catherine Schultz Miller put them together in this play. But those are actual Cherokee myths. Does the underwater panther and the deer have a tail? No. The deer was going to have a tail, but no. no they don't have tails. Lots and lots of feathers that we attach. If you'll turn around, Thunderbird, and you can see it's attached to the back of her costume, just like a bird comes off the shoulders. And again, her mask is made out of a gourd that we cut and attach. The, the beak is actually made of gourd pieces that were glued on and painted by some of our friends in the art department. They played with the costumes. They talked and joked with the Thai company students. They were engaged in learning from the second they walked in the door until they left the theater. They enjoyed every minute. I thought that play was pretty neat and all because of how they set it up. They must have took a lot of work into it and effort, and I give them a 100 for it. I like the water panther. It was like really cool. I thought it was really cool. I thought it was awesome how they made the clothing and everything. Young Cherokee and the new Thai program is a success. It was a good teaching tool of how to produce a production um, with the ultimate goal of being on stage. The play will continue to tour, giving hundreds of other children the opportunity to experience learning about a culture and a way of life that is right next door.